in a minute. But for Sixers Celtics, NBA last night, Jalen Brown looked like it was going to be stopped by Joel Embiid. It, it was right stopped through. by Joel Embiid. It just almost stopped. I mean, Joel Embiid got the block. Yeah. Jalen Brown wasn't scared, though. Didn't went, foul him. With yeah. enough ferocity, he got the good bounce there. Man, Jalen Brown's on-court disposition, one of my favorite players in the league. Always the same facial expressions, always making the right play. Happier play for Embiid here. This time blocks Jalen Brown, alters the second shot. Simmons gets on the fast break through the legs to Embiid for the dunk. I tried to count that. I thought that was like 14 strides. 94 feet. I mean, that's impressive. Here we go. Let me see. Let's see. All right, there's a block. We're One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Bam! Yeah. The big dude. That's why I picked him MVP. Not a, not last night MVP, but we're not a to play Al Horford every night. Horford All right, Warriors Thunder. Steph Curry leading the break. Shakes Raymond Felton before getting to the rim. Nice lay up there. And props to Raymond Felton for still being in the league. That's first of all. <laughs> Second of all, Steph Curry, one of the best at the rim finishers every year, man. Oh, he did a little in and out dribble him and dinner and shook one shook one of them jelly donuts off of Raymond Felton. Not a guy about. It. <laughs> he ain't getting up pushing that iron like Jill the Wolf. No, no, he's jelly not. donut. Let me go in and out. Give me that jelly donut right there off of his hip. You know it. Raymond Felton knows he laughing. He watching it. Very funny to hear you say jelly donut. Uh, time for in or out. We'll start with the Giants. They're off to a one or five star. They sit at the bottom of the NFC East with rumors swirling around when the G-Man will move on from Eli Manning. So, CC, you went around on the Giants starting rookie Kyle Aletta over Eli by the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, it absolutely at some point. I mean, they've won one game. Then you get to ten losses, so I give them another five games. They don't. Yeah, no, I, for real. No, I know. It's just funny that you were saying another. You get to ten losses. They've lost five, so that should be one. five more games to be to ten losses. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is we're still evaluating. Like I, I'm all in. The general manager, we're going to go with the running back. We're going to support Eli. But yeah, if we start getting where the season is lost. I got to move on. I'm not going to move on from Eli this year. I'm not going to cut him from the team, but I will allow someone else to play quarterback. Eli's start streak's already been snapped anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, he was part of it. For that. that ain't my fault. And Davis Webb, you can't make the same mistake with Loretta that you did with Webb, which has been a premium pick. I know it wasn't a first-round pick, but a premium pick on a quarterback. Yeah. They never see the kid play. They are almost assuredly going to be drafting a quarterback next year. Maybe. Maybe it's a 1-in-50 shot. you got to see the 1-in-50 shot of Kyle Loretta is your quarterback of the future. The only way you can find that out is give him a month of football at the end of the year, at least a month of football. All right, let's move on to the Patriots. Newly acquired receiver Josh Gordon had a breakout Sunday in his third game since joining the team. Flash played 63 snaps, now sees himself at the top of the depth chart. So, Nick, you went around on Josh Gordon being Brady's number one target by the end of the season. Oh, I'm out. Like, I mean, unless Gronkford does what he was thinking about doing in the offseason, midseason, and retires, and then he's still fighting with Edelman to that number one target spot. Like, I'm very pleased with Josh Gordon's development and the fact that Josh Gordon, he's had no incidents, no, no reports, missed a meeting, late for practice, anything like that. That's the most important, but number one target, no, not with Gronk. And Edelman and even James White there. Uh, Gronk's going to be hurt. James White, for some reason, he didn't do things the Patriot way. And Edelman got his vitamins and his other stuff mixed up and ended up getting suspended again. That's the only way Josh Gordon is the number one target. The reason why Gronk is versatility in the line blocker. Edelman, his versatility. Motion can play in the slot. That's a little strong for Josh to be able to do at this point. Doesn't have enough intel in time, so I'd have to be out. All right, let's move on to some basketball Stop now. The Warriors squeaked out a win over the Westbrook left Thunder was? last night. No rust in this one. With Durant saying he expects more close games this season, Nicky Winter out on Golden State having more games come down to the wire this year than in previous years. And I'm, I am out. I, the war, if the Warriors this year in the regular season are worse than they were last year, that is an indictment on the competitive spirit of these players. They are better than they were last year. Last year, the Ra Rockets and the Raptors finished with a better record than them. Like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm out. They, 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 they are a better team. They should not have more close games this year than last year. I'm, yeah. in a, I'm in because I do believe the NBA. There's not any new sets that they have. So Kevin Durant gave us a little. He said, you know, so we're not running much new stuff. So
so eventually you become more familiar with it and you start getting used to their spacing and you start getting used to their defense. You know Kevin Durant, if you get past someone, he's going to be at the rim. So I believe what they've seen the last two years, it helps the NBA adjust moving forward. So maybe not down to the wire, but I do believe there will be a lot of close games. Last year, they got blown out a few times because they just weren't paying attention. So I do believe. So I'm in on it. And I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll end with some <laughs> NBA fashion. Draymond Green showed up to Oracle in Dolce & Gabbana pajamas. Pajamas, as some people say. While Marcus Smart rocked the Versace bathrobe in Boston. CC, you went around on showing up to work in DJs and Rose. No, I, I, I spend a lot of time on my clothes and everything. I mean, no, I don't I don't see that happening. Now, Draymond, he was trying to send a message that maybe the Warriors going to sleepwalk through the season. So if he had said that, I understand that. But, I mean, he does have pajamas on, so I have to ask, I mean, he got anything on up under that? Like, is he getting ready for night-night? Or is he just floating oh, around? Are you asking like, if he, is he on the Charles Barkley no draws? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He right. needs an endorsement with Haynes. But Marcus Smart, I'm just going to tell you something. You don't need no glasses on. You don't need no robe scarf on because you don't need to draw too much more attention to your mug. <laughs> that dude is not a handsome-looking guy. All right, so when you are not blessed, all right? When you're not blessed as far as your looks and everything, ain't no need to draw them. I mean, what are you wearing? This guy is like the seventh, eighth man on the Celtics wearing a I mean, I thought we was getting ready for an MMA or something. He was coming into the ring. So, hold up. You don't like the bathrobe with the chains and the Bluetooth earpiece combo with the shade? Oh, no. It on was, the way it, to work? It was 52 degrees yesterday. I'm out as well, but only because I don't have that Versace bathrobe. If I had it... If she got it for me for my birthday last week, yeah. I'd have worn that to work. Ain't and Jenna, nobody want to think about you okay. in a bathroom. Thank you. Jenna, let me tell you something. When you go to Target, yeah. they have to buy him some abs because they're going to oh, need some with the rope. We got to take a break. We're back right after this. Abs, some buying abs. Abdominals? Hey, Keta, you better talk to Nick. He's thrown something in a couple...